In December 1933, Prohibition finished. So ended the great Franklin County moonshine conspiracy, as it became known. That same year, Commonwealth Attorney Mason Wardell was arrested on charges of corruption. A couple years later, Howard moved to Martinville, found work in textile mills there. Surprised us all by getting hitched, having a whole bunch of children. Birth and mimics. Preacher's daughter. Well, that gal always had a rebellious streak in her. We got married the following year. I ran my daddy's farm, raised cattle, grew tobacco. After he got shot at the bridge, Forrest spent two weeks recuperating in the hospital. Then he walked out of there, married Maggie. You gonna toast her? Neither of them told no one. I only found out years later. He was like that, of course. Don't you boys be making a commotion when you come upstairs, all right? <laughs> yes, ma'am. Come on, you up to bed. Good night, boys. Hey, come on, Forrest. Come on, why don't you show us the dance? Come on, Uncle Forrest, get up. Come on. Come on. I ain't dancing for you too, jackass. <laughs> Come on. Huh? I'm gonna go get me some air. <laughs> you gonna move. Here we go, here we go. Oh, oh. Come on, you just been right. Oh, oh. There ain't enough space. <laughs> oh, I didn't walk it off. once said nothing could kill us and we could never die back then I think I actually believed it hell I know Forrest did because no matter what this world flung at him he seemed to be able to just stand up and keep on going getting a little more bent a little more twisted each time Nobody leaves this world alive. Not even Forrest. <laughs> and in the end, it was dumb luck and pneumonia that got him. It was as simple and indifferent as that. Nowadays, we bond our aunts about it by the law. People ain't trying to cut our throats and stab us, shoot us no more. Them days are long gone. Sometimes when I'm out on a porch just sitting around, doing nothing, Pal, it sure does get real quiet around here. <laughs> <laughs>